In this video, I'm going to do some examples of utility maximization problems given a budget constraint. So kind of what we've been doing in the last uh, video there. Um, here I've got something a little more realistic. Okay, So um, you can take a consumer in a city that has an NBA team and an NFL team. Let's say that they like sports and they've budgeted $420 on tickets per year, right? Uh, and in this example, I'm going to make the ticket prices the same. Now, we, we know that the ticket prices could be different, uh, but in, in solving this problem, I've picked a sort of realistic uh, price here. I know NFL tickets have gotten a little more expensive, and I, I'm pretty sure you can still get a good uh, NBA ticket. Um, although, maybe we could check StubHub and see, uh, you know, maybe doesn't always depend on the team, right? Could we could be talking about uh, this is 2017, you know, the Chargers and uh, well, the Clippers are probably going to be more. Than, anyway, I digress. Okay, so we've got this um, this budget constraint. I'm, I haven't been having trouble writing on that, so I'm going to write in this program here. Okay, so one thing that uh, we want to do is write down the formula. So uh, we want to satisfy the condition. I guess that's the wrong color there. We want to satisfy the condition of the marginal utility of NFL game divided by the price of an NFL game needs to equal the marginal utility of an NBA game divided by the price of an NBA game given that this consumer has a budget of $420. So in other words, how can this consumer spend $420 to make themselves the most happy. Now initially, I can take a look at this already and see that uh, the consumer likes the NFL games slightly more, okay? Uh, because their total utility of the first game is 10 and their total utility of the first NBA game is only nine, okay? So first step, what you wanna do is you wanna calculate marginal utility. I'm giving you total utility here, okay? So there's an assumption here that, that the person didn't go to any games. If they didn't go to any games, their total utility would be zero, right? So the marginal utility is the additional happiness they get from that first NFL game, and it's 10, okay? Uh, the additional utility or the marginal utility they get from the second game is nine, okay? I like to add it. I like to say, what do I have to add to 10 to get to 19? Other students, they like to say, I'm just going to take 19 and subtract 10, and then this will give me that, right? So for... Uh, a lot of students, they like to, to even draw these arrows here. Um, I, I don't, but you, you certainly could. Okay, so if that helps you, rock and roll. Okay, the next one is eight. I'm just going to fill these in because I've got it here. Uh, six. You know, and everybody's utility is different. You might be sitting there saying, you know, I hate the NFL but love the NBA. You might hate them both. Uh, whatever, right? You might like them both more than these people. Okay. So then uh, I'm going to do the NBA games now, and so again, there's a zero here. It's just implied. So first game gives me a marginal utility level of nine. Second game, marginal utility of nine. Then next game, uh, seven, six, five, four, and four. Okay, so now I've got marginal utility. Now I just need to do this condition here. Marginal utility of an NBA or NFL game over the price of an NFL game. So this is uh, this number over the price. Okay, so it's ten over six. So in these guys, I'm going to do do calculator. These this example is a little more realistic, but the numbers ended up a little bit messier. I'll give you some numbers that uh, we don't need a calculator for. But um, first one, this is what we're going to do. So it's ten divided by sixty. Okay, and I've got uh, point one, oh, it's gone now. It was point one six, one six seven. We'll call it that. And then I've got the next one here. You know what I could do? I could do this. And the calculator wouldn't disappear. Okay. Um, so we're gonna go nine divided 60, and I got 0.15, and then I've got, my plan didn't, didn't work out so well. Oh, you can make the calculator bigger or smaller, that's interesting. 
Okay, then I've got 8 over 60, and this is point one three repeating, and I've got 7 divided by 60, and I've got point one one six seven point one six seven, and I've got 6 over 60, 6 over 60, which is point one. Um, Five over sixty is point zero eight three, and then finally four divided by sixty is point zero point zero six seven. Okay, now I'm going to do the NBA games. Do those guys over here. So I've got 9 divided by 60. Actually, I already have that number from the other one. So I got 0.15. This is also 9 over 60, so 0.15. Uh, 7 over. Do I have all of these already? I do. So this one is right here. 0.1. Point zero six seven point zero six seven. So that is how I derived that. So in solving the problem, I'm going to look at where the places, the, the bundle of games where this number equals this number and see if I can afford it. So let's do, um, just jump down here to six. So I go to six NFL games and, um, and then uh, five NBA games. And here's Here's something I like to do. I like to say to myself, um, what's the total spent? Okay. This is this will speed it up, right? So total spending. So the first, if I buy one NFL ticket at $60, this is 120, this is 180, this is 240, this is 300, 30, 360. And 420, so I could spend all the money on NFL uh, games, right? And then over here, I just like to see this total spent. Column 60, 120, 180, 240, 300, 360, and 420. Okay, so now I'm in here. And I want to know if I can afford uh, these that, that work. I, I can't remember what I said. Oh, I said six, six NFL uh, games and five NBA games. So I don't need to bother with that because I can't afford it. That would be seven hundred and or sorry, six hundred and sixty dollars. I can't afford that. What about this one here? Five. Uh, so five NFL games and four NBA games. They, they both equal point one. Can I afford it? So it'd be. $300 on NFL and uh, $240 on NBA. We're getting closer, but I still can't afford that. What about four NFL games and three NBA games? So here I'm going to get $240 uh, on NFL spent. So I've got this condition where 0.1167 on NFL games and it does equal 0.1167 on NBA games, and so I'm going to buy, um, I'm going to spend $180 on NBA tickets, and I'm going to spend $240 on NFL tickets. Let's make sure it works here. $240 plus 180 and equals 420 So in this, I've, I've solved this problem. So the answer to the problem is, it's a kind of purple color. There we go. Uh, that, that in order to maximize the consumer utility, they would buy four NFL tickets and three NBA tickets. And just one more time, why does this work? Well, because this, this marginal utility over the price equals this marginal utility over the price, and I can't afford it. There's some lower ones here, but I could spend more money and get more happiness. Okay, so that's kind of a real world type example there. Let's go back to this. The kind of problem I'm going to put on uh, on our tests and stuff 
um, <clears throat> are going to be a little easier, right? So I don't, I don't feel like you need to have a calculator always um, for this. So I'm going to do two of these, and then I'll leave the rest in the notes for, for you. So um, customer in the, or consumer in this case has five dollars. Uh, goods one costs two dollars. Goods two, good twos cost one dollar. So um, here's my total utility. This is total amount spent. So this is the money that they would have spent on each good. I, I find it helps me. Um, maybe it doesn't always, but so if I buy one good, it's going to spend two dollars. Four. I thought this was going to work. Six. Eight. Ten. I'm not illiterate. It's just the pen doesn't like writing on this program. See? And then this one is going to be one, two, see? Yep. Three. I'll just color over it. Kindergarten style. Awesome. Weird. Okay. So then I want to calculate marginal utility. So I'm going to do just what I did with that MBA problem. A little bit easier here, though. So marginal utility here is six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then marginal utility over price. So it's uh, six over price, which is two. Okay. Six over two is three. Six, two and a half. This is two. This is one and a half. This is one and this is a half. Okay, so now I've got half of it done. Then over here I'm gonna go four, four, three, two, one, and one. Okay. And so this is divided by um, one dollar, so that's much easier. It's just four over one, so it's four, four, three, two, one, and one. Okay, let's see what we can afford here. Okay, so which combinations equal each other? So immediately, any of these halves, I'm not going to really worry about because I'm going to try to see if I can uh, beat it here. So uh, I can't afford this bundle. So this this five and and uh, five of each I can't afford it because I'm spending ten fifteen dollars. Now if the budget was fifteen dollars, that's the answer. Okay, but it's not. So uh, let's go down here. It's going to have to be some. I can't. I really can't do any of these. I can cancel them all out because they're all spending too much, and I can't. Probably can't do that one, but we'll we'll see here. Um, no, I know I can't because it just didn't didn't work there. So what about um, two and two? So this is me spending. Oh no, I can't do that one either, and I probably can't do that one because it's two and a half. So let's see about uh, one unit of good one, and over here this this is three units of good three. So this is me spending three dollars on good two, and then uh, uh, two dollars on good one. This, this satisfies the conditions the best I can do. It's the best in, indifference curve I can get to, uh, given this budget constraint of five. So in this problem, the answer is you would buy one unit of good one, and you would buy three units of good two. Okay, let's do one more here. Um, I want to do, let's do this one, okay. Uh, prices are a little bit lower so um, and uh, so the spending here this is 50 cents this is a dollar this is a dollar fifty this is 250 whoa that was interesting oh there we go 250 I went to a new slide I see then over here this is Quarter. This is fifty cents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifty. Fifty cents. This is. It really doesn't like me to. They don't want me to do this one. 
like 75 cents. This one's a dollar, dollar and a quarter. A dollar fifty. Wow, weird. Okay, so additional utility is going to be five, seven. So I like those two, two units, second unit much better. It's interesting. Five, four, four, and two. And I'm going to divide all this by uh, the price. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to go five divided by one half. And if you algebraically solve this, okay, so in order to get rid of this half down here, I'm going to have to multiply it by two, and whatever I do on the bottom, I have to do the top. So in this case, I'm going to end up multiplying everything by two. So this is 10, this is 14, this is 10, this is 8, 8. See, not really hard math, you just got to know what, what to put and where. Uh, over here, uh, this is going to be four, uh, two and a half. This is going to be one and a half, one, one, and actually negative one. So now I'm getting less happy here. And that, that can happen too. People start to get sick of things. So here I'm going to get the marginal utility over the price. It's, it's a, a quarter, so it's one fourth. So really what I'm going to do to get rid of this algebraically is I'm going to multiply uh, this by four and that means I got to multiply this by four. So this is 16. This is 10. Uh, this is one and a half times four. Uh, six. This is, oh, uh, this is four. This is four. No, no, actually, this 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 number ends up being negative, but we're not really going to go there because you wouldn't buy that additional unit, right? You'd stop buying these units. So, where um, where our budget here is two dollars, so we have a low budget, not spending a lot of money on these products. So, what what equals each other? So, we've got uh, some eights over here. They they don't show up over here, so probably not going to be that. We could do six um, over here, four, but that's too much spending, so we can't can't get to that four and four combo yet. Uh, what about 10 and 10? 10? 10 and 10 might work. So um, here I'd just be spending $1.50 on um, good one and then $1.50 on good two. That does satisfy the $2 condition. So the answer to this one is that I would buy three units of good one and two units of good two. Okay, so that's how to solve it. I'm gonna leave these other two here uh, in the notes and I encourage you to try them and then down here this is a different more wordy way of, of answering this um, five consumers have the following marginal utility of apples and pears when the price of apples is two dollars and the price of pear is one dollar which of these consumers if any are optimizing their own choice of fruit so let's see if Jerry is so Jerry's marginal utility uh, remember what the formula is marginal utility of apple over the price of apple needs to equal that's a weird a need to equal the marginal utility of pairs over the price of pairs given um, nope we this one we don't really have a budget because we just we see what they're we see what they're buying so here I've got uh, marginal utility of apples over the price of an apple equaling marginal utility of pears over the price of pears. So this is going to turn into six. This is six. Six, uh, six and six equal each other. And so this one, uh, this can, Jerry is is um, maximizing his utility. Let's see what George is. George is six over two and six over six. Sorry, six over one. Uh, this equals six, this equals three. So George here is not maximizing his utility. Okay, so those are how to solve those problems. Feel free to email me if you have any questions.